A couple of months ago I made a video of how to upgrade your XSS, FSR and the LSS inside your games. Imagine that you have a game that has let's say the LSS 3.1 and you can upgrade it to 3.7, 3.8 and now 4.0 as well. But in the past couple of months we actually had some very interesting developments and we have huge, huge developments in this specific scenario. So for example, you now get this software called the LSS Swapper that not only works with the LSS now, but also works with FSR. So it shows the games that you have in your system and you can add games manually. It shows the version of the LSS that you have and you can just go simply here and upgrade the DLSS version. You just click here, upgrade the DLSS version if the game has FSR 3.1 or XSS. It also works in these case scenarios. For example, let's go with Call of Duty, as you can see. And you also have now the NVIDIA app that allows you also to override the, um, the DLSS version to the latest DLSS version and also allows you to select the preset. So although the DLSS swapper works with FSR and XSS and even ray reconstruction and frame generation, you can also go to the, to the NVIDIA app and actually select the latest version of DLSS with the preset. That's basically what the app allows you to do over the LSS swapper. It allows you to pick the preset. And don't worry if you don't really know what's the preset because we'll get there. There! Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with the LSS Swapper, which is really the, the easiest way to do things. You just go to Google, you search for DLSS Swapper, let's see, DLSS Swapper, bam, you open the GitHub file or the GitHub link, you go here to the releases, click on it, the, the latest was yesterday, 1.1.5, you just go down here and you download the DLSS Swapper installer if you want the installer, which in my opinion is the best way to go if you're really new into this, or if you want the portable version, you can select the portable version as well. You just download it, install it, and then you'll be proposed with this. You have the LSS Swapper, yeah, I thought it it was my cat. Before it only changed the, the files of the LSS, you could only upgrade the LSS. Now it not only shows the LSS, but it also shows FSR 3.1 and above, of course, and XSS 1. something, XSS 2 and etc. And on top of that, you can also change the LSS ray reconstruction and frame generation. So it's a win-win, this, this easy application, easy to use application does basically everything. And now it even separates your games uh, from Steam, GOG, Epic Store games, Ubisoft Connect basically shows all the games that you have from different from different launches or different stores, launchers or stores, yes. Um, and it's very, very, very good. As you can see, for example, Assetto Corsa Competizione, it, all, it, it just has the, the LSS 2.2 and Plague Tale Requiem only has the LSS 2.4, so you can upgrade these easily. So the first thing you have to do is go here, I believe, to the library. Let's start with the LSS. You just go here and click download. And that's it. You already downloaded the latest version of the LSS and 310.2.1 uh, is actually the, the second version of the LSS 4. This is the first version of the LSS 4, the 310.1. So the same for frame generation, the LSS frame generation, download, the LSS ray reconstruction, download. FSR 3.1, you download the latest version, which is the 3.1.3. Again, download. FSR for Vulkan games as well. XSS, because now you have XSS2, although it only works not in terms of upscaling, upscaling works with the previous cards, but in terms of frame generation and XLL and so on, it only works with the B570 and B580. Then XSS frame generation, bam, and XLL. And again, these two only work with the B570 and B580. Then you go to the games that you want to upgrade. You go, for example, for Assetto Corsa Competizione. You just go here and you and you have the LSS because this game only has the LSS and an older version of FSR. And by the way, you can only update the DLL files from FSR if the game has FSR 3.1 and above because this is one of the biggest mistakes AMD did in the past. They didn't allow us to upgrade through the LL files like XSS did from day one. And FSR only did this after FSR 3.1 
3.1. So if your game has FSR 2, FSR 3, FSR 2.1, 2.2, doesn't really matter, you won't be able to upgrade the FSR version unless you use something like the OptiScaler mods that inject the newer, the newer FSR versions in the game and so on. But through the DLSS Swapper, you can only do this with FSR 3.1 and above. As for now, you go to the LSS, you just select 310.2.1, swap, bam, you're good to go. Now you have the latest version of the LSS 4 inside the Seto Corsa. And that's it. It is as simple as it can be. The same for uh, Plague Tale Requiem. Just go here, 310.2.1. BAM swap, the LSS frame generation, the same thing, you go from the 3.1 to 310.2, again, the LSS 4, and it's done. And if you upgrade to the LSS 4, for example, in, in terms of frame generation, it, on, it not only gives more FPS, as it also consumes less VRAM, so it's a win-win situation here. Let's say we can do the same for Spider-Man Remastered, we can do it, like the LSS 4, BAM done, the LSS frame generation 4, bam done easy as it can be now it shows fsr 3.1 because the game does have fsr 3.1 and you upgrade from the 36329 so 36329 the version isn't even here uh, but yeah you can just upgrade to the latest one 3.1.3 bam swap and it's done the same for xcss go to the version 2 instead of the version that we had before bam, it is done. It's as easy as it can be if you're a fan of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It only has the DLSS 2.4, which is actually pretty poor, has a lot of ghosting and so on. Just go update to the LSS 4, do it. The LSS frame generation as well, the LSS 4, and you're good to go. As easy as it can be. And it's really cool, I actually did this with God of War Ragnarok and it works very very well. For example, in terms of presets, I just went here and I just went to the LSS 4 and I immediately, and I repeat, I immediately noticed the difference. The LSS 3, or 3.7 in this case I believe, it had the disocclusion problems and so on, or even upgrading, let's say from... Uh, FSR 3.1, the normal FSR 3.1 to 3.1.3 does make the difference in terms of transparency effects and so on, but the LSS 4 makes a huge difference here, and the same happens for some other games. So yeah, in my opinion, it's definitely a way to go. I believe that in most scenarios, this won't affect, in terms of online games, for example, if you just go here, unless you're playing really picky online games that Real, that will kind of bother you, like Space Marine 2 might bother you with um, with the DLSS swapper because the DLL file is not the same from the game. But generally, you can just do this for online games and so on, and you won't have any issues in terms of banning. You'll be fine. Generally, I'm not saying it is the same for the for all games, but generally, this is the case. Now, as for the LSS only, if you only have an, an, an NVIDIA card, let's say, instead of having a, uh, an Intel one or, a, or AMD one, if you just have one from NVIDIA, you can actually do this now on the NVIDIA app. This has been one of the latest updates that we got. And all you have to do is go to Graphics, Program Settings, select the game that you want, for example, Silent Hill 2. Go down here to the driver settings and you'll be presented with the DLSS override model presets and the LSS override frame generation. Now, frame generation isn't working for this game even though it supports the LSS frame generation. I don't really know why. Maybe something's wrong. Yeah, multi-frame generation three and four times. And if we're not talking about MFG, multi-frame generation, which should be here, MFG instead of just frame generation, you just go to the LSS override in that specific game if you want to. Go here, use different settings for each DLSS technology, you can do it. Frame generation, go to the latest. And that's about it because we don't really have super resolution and ray reconstruction. And well, I made a mistake here actually because Silent Hill 2 obviously has the LSS super resolution of course. So the LSS upscaling and frame generation. Maybe it doesn't work in this specific scenario because I did change the DLSS files with the LSS swapper. And maybe if you change the DLSS files with the, with the DLSS swapper, maybe the NVIDIA app doesn't really recognize the, the upscaler because I did it. But I also changed the files for frame generation and it works. So I don't really know, but I guess this is the case. But of course, let's see another game. For example, Need for Speed has an older version of the LSS frame generation and the LSS. You just go here to driver settings. Once again, the LSS override model presets. And yeah, these are my cats. 
Risk. This is in terms of frame generation and frame generation doesn't allow you to select the preset But as you go to the super resolution, you can select the preset that you want And if you want a new transformer model from the LSS4, which is one of the best case scenarios Generally, it still has some issues compared to the previous model But in most scenarios, it will be the best way to play your games You can select it, it is the preset J And the presets are things that you can choose and Interestingly, some of them are better in some things and some of them are better in others. Usually people like, for example, the preset F, Some for some games the preset T is better, and it, it has to do with, for example, ghosting issues and so on. Some presets are better for ghosting issues, some presets are better for other things, but generally the preset J is the one that you want, which is again the transformer model from the LSS4. You just go here, apply, Bam, and now you have the transformer model in Need for Speed and Bound, and believe me, again, it is much better, much better. If you want to see more about the transformer model, you have this video that I just made comparing it in Cyberpunk, which was which was the first game to get implemented with uh, with the DLSS 4 technologies, especially like the Ray Reconstruction DLSS 4, the transformer model and so on. It was the first game with it, and I was very, very impressed. And now we have an updated version, which is supposed to be even better. But again, I was very impressed. Six minutes, just to... Hey! And by the way, if you happen to be one of the three people that have RTX 50 cards, 50 series cards, like the 590 and 580, um, it will be, it will kind of allow you to use the frame generation mode. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, which is MFG, which is one of the features of the RTX 50 series, which allows you basically to, instead of just doubling your frame rates with frame generation, which won't actually double the frame rates, but you know what I mean, it actually allows you to use the 3x and 4x times instead of just the two the, the two times mode, it allows you the three times and four times. And this is a thing only, as it says here, for the RTX 50 series. Uh, and if you have one of those, you can kind of force the, the multi-frame generation inside the games that don't support it. The same way you do that with the normal DLSS to the older, uh, from the older to the newer DLSS versions, you can do exactly the same with the multi-frame generation. Imagine that you go to Silent Hill, Silent Hill does not support multi-frame generation. If you have an RTX 50 series card, you can just go here to the DLSS override frame generation, for example. Just go here, select the, um, the option three times or four times and you will use frame generation on top of what you have in the game so instead of using the the normal two times you will use the three times or four times depending on what you pick here which is kind of nice and also if you have an rtx 50 series for now for now it is only for the 50 series nvidia says they are working in bringing it to the 40 series because it makes no sense if you are on the AMD side, smooth motion is kind of AFMF2. It works outside of the game engine and you can just force it into. It's the same for lossless scaling. But yeah, if you are if you want to use uh, multi-frame multi -frame generation or multi-frame generation, you can just use lossless scaling and you can do it. Two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, whatever you want, up to 20 times. And yeah, guys, I know that I really... I know that I really talked a lot, but it is really easy. You can do this process in like... Three minutes. And again, I believe this will apply to FSR 4 with the LSS Swapper kind of supporting it. Since it supports 3.1, why not support uh, FSR 4 as well? And also AMD announced that they also have the, the um, kind of the upgradability in their app, in the Adrenaline app. So if you have at least a 9000 series, you'll be able to upgrade from FSR 3.1 to FSR 4 in basically every single game. Now, will it work for RDNA 3 cards as well, FSR 4? I don't really know. AMD said they were working on it in making FSR 4 working with the RDNA 3 cards since they also have AI, AI cores, even though, of course, the, the AI cores are way less powerful than the ones in RDNA 4, they are working on it, and maybe since they postponed the release date from January to, to March, maybe, maybe, they bring um, FSR 4 to RDNA 3 out of the box. Maybe, who knows. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and share the video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if you... If you have any doubts, seriously, let me know if you have any doubts. Leave them in, in the comment section. I hope I helped you somehow with this video telling you how to update your DLSS, FSR, and XSS files through 
two options and I believe that with FSR4 the LSS Swapper will also work with FSR4 and I believe that AMD will have something similar to NVIDIA because they told us that months ago in the beginning of January we had the slides where they showed that they will have an FSR4 upgrade feature so you'll be able to to use FSR4 with any single game that has FSR 3.1 which is actually very nice but I'll cover that topic when the moment comes of course thank you very much once again and see you in the next video cheers